Thanks for staying with us for our second In Focus discussion tonight on FAMEX 2021. Up next in our conversation is Mike Merzberg, CEO of Wild Bill's Craft Beverage Company. And Mike, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Pleasure being here, Rosie. Thank you for having me. Well, first off, tell us about your company and the products that you offer to your customers. Sure. Uh, Wild Bill's is a veteran-owned and operated non-alcoholic craft beverage company. Uh, we've been around since 2002, um, so for the, approximately the last 20 years, uh, we've been traveling throughout the country, um, attending you know the largest events throughout the country, uh, spanning Comic-Con, car shows, uh, food festivals, uh, with our Western-themed uh, pop-up retail activation, um, you know, serving you know uh, delicious beverages in our stainless steel collectible mugs. Uh, customers purchase our commemorative uh, mugs and they enjoy free refills at the events that we attend. Now let's get into that part of your answer about veterans. One of the unique elements is your business, like you said, is owned and operated by veterans and there's also franchise opportunity for veterans. Tell us about how you help them transition from employee to owner. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I'm an Army veteran, uh, served six years. Um, you know, I had a I had a lot of help uh, transitioning from the military to, to the civilian sector. Um, mentors, uh, friends that had gone before me in the transition, and it really wasn't easy uh, even having that help. Um, I think every veteran has the obligation to reach back and, and help veterans make the transition going forward, um, you know, paying it forward. I think the company's in a very unique position, and it, it, it it, you know, I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, it's our culture. Uh, we have veterans in, in the company um, and non-veterans um, who are here to support veterans in the transition, mentoring, role modeling, um, helping folks that are interested in, you know, whether becoming a full-time employee or becoming an actual franchisee. They're just people across the spectrum, veteran and non-veteran alike. Um, I've, you know, it's a, it's a rare atmosphere where folks are just leaning in, helping folks uh, and bringing them along the way to learn about business. Um, I think a second component is um, just the, the nature of the business itself lends itself to the, the character of, 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 of veterans, whether that's innate or uh, skill sets that they developed while in the military. Um, leadership for sure, uh, you know, leading a show is, is no easy feat. Uh, there are logistical elements to a show. Um, you know, there, there, uh, there are many elements, logistics, customer service, um, and then there's things on the fly that you just can't plan for. And I think just being a veteran, you're, you're trained for those situations. And I think it's, uh, you know, it's a good fit. I think the last element is this piece around um, this special program we have for veteran franchising, um, which is basically, look, you know, we're in a position to offer, uh, you know, for qualified folks, basically discounted fees becoming a franchisee. Uh, and in some cases, actually financing to support folks as they acquire the equipment they need to run shows. Let's talk about how your company travels all over the country. When I was looking at your event calendar, I saw Boston, Philly, Miami, Oregon, and of course, Utah, just to name a few. What is it about being a traveling business that works out better for your company than just sticking to the brick and mortar? Yeah, look, I think it's, uh, you know, we've been doing it for 20 years. Um, there's, there's something about having the ability at an event where you're with your friends and family, uh, being able to pour um, your own beverage, uh, you know, experiment with new flavors, um, mix flavors, um, I, you know, just the, the look on people's faces and the feedback that we get is that, you know, people travel to events because we're there. I, I think we really, you know, enhance the experience, um, you know, and the element of brick and mortar that you raise, like, I don't necessarily think of it as an either or for us. Um, you know, we, I think it's both. And, you know, we are actively trying to um, move into certain markets in brick and mortar where it makes sense for us. Um, you know, in the Utah area, for example, we have thousands of fans. So, you know, it's definitely on our minds. Now, you've been a sponsor for FanX since 2018. Why do you think your beverages are so popular with people in Utah? Well, I will say this to everybody in Utah, um, and I know others in the event industry and, and Dan can relate to this too. Um, look, you know, over the past 18 months, it hasn't been easy. And what I will say about the folks in Utah and the greater Salt Lake area in particular, um, you guys, <laughs> you know, posts, uh, messages, emails, uh, letters of support to us, uh, you know, over the past 18 months have really motivated us to get back on, you know, on our event circuit. Um, just the outpouring of support from folks in the area has just been, you know, very much appreciated. 
Um, you know, we, we see pictures of folks that have collections of mugs, talking about their experience, talking about, you know, can't wait to, to see you guys uh, in town. Uh, the, the list sort of goes on, but just the folks in Utah have just been so supportive, supportive of us during this period of time that we just can't wait to be, see them in person. Mike, we have to wrap, but real quick, tell us when and where people can catch you at FanX this year. Yeah, so we'll be there all three days. Uh, we'll have two stands this year, uh, one at the main uh, main stage um, and then one in Artist Alley. Um, so, you know, we're there the whole the whole time. And if folks can't meet us at the event, you know, you could also go to drinkwildbills.com and you could also enjoy our beverages in the comfort of your home. All right. You've been hearing from Mike Merzberg, CEO of Wild Bill's Craft Beverage Company. And Mike, thank you for being a part of our discussion. We'll see you at Fanex. My pleasure, Rosie. Thank you. We'll be right back.